Hello everyone. Today I will show you some technique how you can create organic shape with only Revit tools, without any skills in conceptual mass. So let's get started. Let's start from the new template. We will go to the ribbon menu and we will create new conceptual mass. And I will choose the metric mass because we have only metric mass and here we are. Now I will change my view here to the front one, front one and let's it close up now i'm hold ctrl and shift and i can uh, copy the this line let's make two here and two here and let's copy same in same way one here one here and one here now let's make this some measure here it's 500 let's make 1000 1000 here, 1000 here. From this side to this side, it's let's make uh, like 3000. And this one I'll put here and let's make it 500 only. Same in this way. Like I did here, it's 1000. Let's make here the same 1000. Okay, it's already. And here I did 3000 and here it's same 3000. Here we are, and now this one, oh, it's already 500, as I want. So that's it. Now, again, uh, hold Ctrl and Shift, and let's make some levels. One level and two level. Let's make first level, it's, uh, it's like 1,500 millimeters, and the second one, it's, let's make it like 2,800 like this here we are now we need to draw our uh, shape so first i'm hold the shift and the middle of the mouse and now i will choose this plane so here in the work plane set plane let's choose this one plane and let's go back to the front view let's close up it and now i will use this plane Use the spline, uh, make sure your um, make surface from the closed loops is off and chain also off. And let's draw it from this side, this. All intersection and here. And cancel. Here we are. Now as you see, we can control it and we get some shape like this. Okay, control Z. And now we need draw the model. Let's make this spline, and let's make it uh, not not yet. Okay, let's make it like this. Uh, we need one, two, three, four, uh, ten, uh, ten adaptive point. So now we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Why I make 10? Because when I will choose the one, this one, so I will do it 0.9. Sorry, it's most my wrong. Again, select this 0.9, enter. And let's make to each one 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6. And on and on. Let's say do it fast. Zero point three and zero point two. I forgot the one. This bad. Yes, this is so bad. Anyway, I just can delay this one. Now it's okay. So what I did, actually, if we will choose the previous our shape, this this shape, when we control, I mean uh, when we control the previous shape and our new spline following the this shape. So it means when we make the some geometry, when we make some uh, exterior part, uh, that will be follow the our previous line this line 
so like this of course when you make so when you making the much the points it's controlling more better than now so you can do it if you want you can leave it if you don't need this okay we did it now we need the copy it just select all this and this line again control shift and let's put somewhere here now just select the this plane and let's make it 500 only nice and let's make it one more just this one this one control shift again and also let's make it 500 only here we are now again we will go to the uh, draw and now make sure your switch on makes your face from closer and let's make one here and one here now this is wrong why because now i cannot control the my surface so how to make right just control z and let's do the right just point to point and each point we shoot the close let's make it here as you see our uh, dots still here so it means we can control it for example if I will do like this I control my shape so it means you can do whatever you want let's finish this one and I will show you so the same again we will choose the line just close the this one and close everything and one more here but it's not closed why we should uh, choose this place and this one of course all of this line too let's make like this this one and this and create and now we can create any shape what we want for example right now we can make the only the one direction change only z axis for example now i will change like this you can see we're changing our shape now i'll change choose the second one and let's make it a bit higher like this let's let's put it a bit far like this and this one is no let's make it 3000 oh sorry 3000 one 500 as you see now you can see better yes so it's like this you can create any shape for example here you can put like this but we need more control so what we can do just i'm cho choosing this line and i just will delay that done now i can create to any to any side for example here i can put it a bit down maybe i'll make it ex a bit extrude this one maybe i want to some other direction like this so you can control everywhere you can make any organic shape what you want of course it's not uh, rhino or maybe the dynamo but actually if you need make some shape fast you can make here of course if you need the fast and it's not pretty hard shape so you can you can control whatever you want but still here you will have the control to one axis like this and as you see here you can make some shape like this because if you if you want maybe like this you can make some here glass or some doors here and you will get some building so this pretty simple technique how you can uh, control your surface and load it to the project as a as a mess so after that you can make the walls or curtain wall whatever you want so thank you guys see you next time